so as um, you guys all know, my name is Josue, and I am here for a simple reason. On Monday, April 11th, we, re we all received a letter saying, Ms. Facilities for the Principal at Valley High School has tended to resignation as of April 11th, 2011. Um, this is all we got, and really there was no explanation why she had read, why she left. But we asked why. Maybe you guys know why, maybe you guys don't, but really we asked for an explanation because she loved Valley so much. She did this a lot of hard work towards us and towards the school to just kind of go and disappear. So we've asked students, have been, uh, other group of students that are here are requesting or are um, wanting to find out why. <coughs> we also believe, we also believe that there has been lots of rumors about teachers complaining to the district and saying that there was bad stuff going or stuff that she had done wrong. Um, we also heard that the district knew about it because not knowing, and we think that's unfair because really, you know, with the situation that happened today, um, if you guys heard about it, we just felt really, we felt just really not in it because she was, like Ms. Marsh said, she was the spirit, she was the heart of our school. She was what kept us up every day. She was what kept our energy going. She is what made us and motivated us to continue school. Some stuff that she did that were excellent to our school was our APA score moved up to 49. We also improved 1% of our attendance in this year, which may not seem a lot, but it really is. We have um, root words every day that she would explain and would say to us that helped us understand words that we did not even know about. <coughs> For the sophomores this year, we had KC boot camp, and every day they would go into the for English and they would study and practice their KC. They, we also have targeted tutoring for those students that were failing in class or having a D, so they can continue to work on that and get those grades up. <coughs> we also feel very disappointed about the district for not telling us the reasons why and also for not informing us if you guys really did know about it before. Um, I think with the group we have here is um, explaining a little bit about us and our feelings towards how we feel about the district and us not knowing about it. Thank you. Thank you for uh, followed by Gabriela Peña and Jennifer Khan. I'm Ms. Hernandez, President and Board Member of the I am actually an athlete. My name is John. I'm actually an athlete at Valley, and the fact that the principal really cared and how she showed up to all the games, she did her best to go to every game. I even know that when a football player got injured, she was at the hospital with him until 3 a.m. in the morning with that football player because he was injured on the field. And honestly, I'm with the same I really want to know why and you really wish you could have her back because she showed so much support. And it's just, it's I, it's not fair to us that when we start getting a good principal and we start doing good things and we start to improve our test score and improve our attendance and improve everything, that she's gone. And especially in the middle, like, oh, not technically the middle, but close to the middle of the school year, and then throwing a new principal in. That's why most of the students, I have to say, are outraged that we didn't get a real explanation as to why or even a warning. And this happened right before spring break when we could do nothing about it. And I feel that we should have a say. I mean, it's our education, it's our school. We should have a say if we want our principal in. I mean, we all have a voice. And it should be our <coughs> Good evening, uh, board. Good evening, uh, Mr. Hernandez. Um, I'm just here for also with all the students. I'm here to support Ms. Ms. Werno because she has supported us in, in times um, that, as as me coming coming to Valley, she we had uh, my freshman year we had a, a different uh, principal who uh, we had hard times with and. Been hard to, but also we had uh, going into our my sophomore year, um, 
Miss Horsell came and she changed everything with us, uh, dealing with music. Um, she helped us with, with uh, supporting our, our music and arts. She came to each concert we had. Uh, our, my freshman year, um, the, the principal we had, he never showed up. He had never uh, even known we had music. But since Miss Wendell came in, she came to, uh, one, she came with all her heart to show us that she loved our music, she loved our programs, she loved everything that we had to, to give. Um, one thing she gave, she gave us, uh, she gave us a knowing that we have a great tomorrow, we will have a great, beautiful tomorrow, and showing that we are the future of, of today. We are the future of our lives. And, uh, she showed us how to to learn and to be a student and to also be a, a pre-adult. She also taught us, she was our teacher, not just our principal. She was our teacher of life. So I would just want to know um, why is she gone? And if we, all of us would all say why, uh, please, if we could have her back. Thank you. members, family members, and community. My name is Jennifer, and I'm the AAP president at Valley High School. This came as a sudden shocker to us. We weren't informed of it, and honestly, we feel discouraged at the fact that we didn't have an opinion in it, and it makes us feel that our voice isn't going to be heard, our voice doesn't matter, our opinion doesn't matter, and I'm pretty sure that's not what you were trying to put out there, but that's what we feel, because we didn't have a say in this. And if not, well, of course we want Ms. Riddle back, of course Mr. Patrick might be a good principal, but we want Ms. Riddle back, and if we can't have her back, at least if we could have a more informed explanation of her resignation, that would be like greatly appreciated. And um, today there was an incident at school, and there was cops sent by the district, or so they said, and pretty much this really didn't help it, it kind of, Versus, I guess you uh, kind of added more fuel to the fire because students started a bigger riot and the cops were even acting inappropriate to the students. They were they were cursing at them, they were cussing at them to get to class, and I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah, we, we set a commotion, yeah, that was our fault, but still the cops, that doesn't give the right to the cops for, to treat us that way. And um, just to miss Mr. Patrick, which I know is in the audience, I spoke to you, I've met you, you know, um, and I just want to apologize on behalf of ASB and behalf of all the students at Valley High School. Uh, we do apologize for the incident today, and we would have much rather have like to welcome you with open arms, and we're really sorry about that. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. My name is Diana Solano. I am part of um, our team. I met you guys a few weeks ago. Um, I just want to say that many students are very discouraged, as Alison has said, and they just want answers. That's all we're looking for. Um, I I understand that maybe you guys can't give us everything, but at least some answers. We need some closure. We don't know anything about a principal. We don't know where she's at. We we have nothing behind that, and we wish that we could know. And we also started a petition. And this is the petition. Um, these are some of the students, just a few students so far, that um, um, want Miss Wordle back. I know many more students would like want her back. It's just they didn't get the chance to have their voice in here. Um, I just wish that we could get those answers, like the answers today. Thank you. I have one child, Maria Luisa Peña, and Joyce Danor. 